the cosmic journey. 3. I Atlas's trajectory through our solar system, honestly, follows a carefully orchestrated path that gives us optimal opportunities for comprehensive planetary observation. The object will reach perihelion on October 29, 2025, getting close to the Sun at about 1.36 astronomical units, positioned just perfectly between the orbits of Earth and Mars, for extended observation. At perihelion, it'll hit maximum speeds of nearly 68 km per second, which really shows off the extreme velocities you get with interstellar travelers. Paul Chodas from NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies has calculated that while the comet poses no threat to Earth, keeping a safe distance of at least 1.8 astronomical units, its path brings it remarkably close to Mars, Venus and Jupiter during its trip through the solar system. The precision of this trajectory is pretty striking. It allows close approaches to three major planets and provides optimal vantage points for studying inner solar system dynamics. Karen Meech from the University of Hawaii emphasizes that this close approach sequence is, honestly, an unprecedented opportunity to see how an interstellar object interacts with different solar environments and planetary gravitational fields. The object will pass just 0.19 astronomical units from Mars on October 3rd, followed by a 0.65 AU approach to Venus on November 3rd, creating a sort of reconnaissance pattern that seems almost deliberately designed for a comprehensive solar system survey, rather than just a random cosmic passage.